Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another rant by Diggity. This time it's kind of a clarification of the previous stuff. You guys have noticed I uploaded a couple also League games in between, and I think that's primarily because I did trust Zero to... Maybe I should throw something on in the background. That's interesting. Whatever. Hopefully you guys are okay with just a blank screen with this one. I'll try to keep it quick. Um, Zero wrote an apology on TeamLiquid.net. I recommend checking it out. As a tournament organizer myself, I understand the pressures of... Um, it's harder to listen to your gut and act on it when you have a lot of distractions. Uh, I had a tournament that I was pretty proud of um, that I think was the first StarCraft II tournament in existence. And I think also, I don't, I'm not going to say it, that was the one that had the impact, but it was run on the Justin TV days. And I think it was a part of the influence to get Twitch running. Um, Day 9 showed up. It was amazing. We had female attendees. We had um, attendees that were under the age of 18. And I wasn't sure whether the female attendees were going to get harassed or not. I also wasn't sure whether the whether there'd be any issues with the under 18 attendees, and they didn't really create uh, contingency for that. And I got lucky, basically. Um, and that was kind of where my gut was at, where I, I should have, what I should have done in retrospect is I stopped and made sure the administrators were all on the same page and were keeping a lookout. But fortunately, the people there were just all awesome. I think one of those individuals was Faye Mata. I'm not positive, though. Um but she's involved in esports and does voice acting now. And it was kind of like one of those things where I'm just going to pretend in my brain that is her. And so I'm like, ha, ah, someone who is someone who is at the esports land is really cool and doing cool stuff now. <clears throat> That's aside from the point. I do want to say I want to continue to apply pressure in particular to esports fund to not fund future events where um, I'm not sure how much this will come up. But I'm also looking for like a shift in pressure to that, which kind of brings up questions around the ethics of money. So yeah, I guess part of what I want to say is, is I don't know that eSports Fund is thinking about sponsoring me, but I don't want your money is what it comes down to if the ethics are like what Rapid did was okay. And that's kind of my stance right this second as far as like a open stance. Um, yeah, don't want your money. Um, and I do want to continue to apply pressure in that regard to change policy in the future for at least Brood War related events. And I think that is something that's going to shift as far as um, what's being protested potentially moving forward, I don't know. Um, talked to a few people in the background, um, and that seems like that might be the direction of it. Other announcements. Uh, speaking of the veil of ignorance from the previous rant, I applied that to myself. I put in a lot of effort from this, and part of it is, is I'm recognizing I need to reduce my stress level overall. Um, and I'm burning, I'm not just burning the candle. Like I, I threw the candle in the fireplace a long time ago. And uh, I kind of recognized that if I saw someone else doing the same thing in the community, I wouldn't want them doing the same things I'm doing. So I'm going to try to scale back on something. I haven't figured out exactly what yet. Um, in that space, by the way, uh, because of kind of the fiasco that's happened in between, these are the amount of videos I have left to upload. Uh, I think this one went up today. So these are in queue. And after that, and I'll try to queue some up for when I'm on vacation, but there is going to be probably not uh, some videos are not going to be available coming up in December because I'm going to be leaving going out of country um, and I'm going to try to figure out how I'm going to balance things in the future there's other projects I want to do one is I want to do a different channel that's covering a typology system I really like I'm also trying to write a book that's um, on something that I think some people could argue is the or could argue is the philosopher's stone which is just it's like a side project which involves a lot of non-dualistic thinking and um, metaphysical talk. And it's uh, a lot of, it covers a lot of stuff and it's hard to, it's difficult, it's challenging to write, but I enjoy that aspect of the challenge. I find it's a nice place to pocket my manic energy rather than other spaces. Um, but anyway, hopefully that clarifies everything coming up. I'm going to try to rebalance <laughs> things for myself in the future so that I'm less stressed out. I don't know what that's going to look like. Maybe streaming maybe reduce streaming to one Tuesday or one of the days or whatever not. And that might mean fewer videos on YouTube. So maybe uploads every other day. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to scale everything down and do these other things I'm trying to do in the background. Um, but anyway, but I will say if you are, um, engage, well, I'm trying to think of a way to word this. If you approve of rapids actions, um, and, non-consensual stuff like that. I don't want your money. Um, I guess part of it is, is I'm not all that concerned about money in the first place outside of trying to uh, kind of the, the using it as a cue as background encouragement from the community. Um, 
except for when it comes to my daughter. I'm kind of curious. Well, it's not curiosity. It's a massive amount of stress. I'm like, okay, what's going to happen to her when I'm gone? But uh, kind of readjust, I'm trying to readjust my thoughts around that because I don't know that a wad of cash is going to help her in, in that instance, uh, should my wife and I be gone. It's kind of, but uh, I think that creates separate stresses around the nature of society and whatever not and uh, special needs people, but she might end up being okay down the line too. We'll have to see that's, but that's one of the stresses. So uh, yeah, I kind of try to scale back. Um, look for videos that will not be, this is, uh, I am re-uploading hostile things and going to at least continue to finish the season. I'll try to reevaluate whether I'm going to cast next season or maybe take a break for a season or figure what else out. Um, the only other thought I have is around Stormgate. Be sure to check out Stormgate out. A lot of people that are involved in that project are awesome people like Carla LaForge. That's the mother of the Plot Brothers. The Plot Brothers are involved. Uh, Fear Dragon's been p- posting content here and there. He's a cool dude. Uh, Fear Dragon 64 is his Twitch channel. Check him out. I really enjoy him actually in the, uh, of all the StarCraft II uh, people in that space. I enjoy him quite a bit. Um, maybe because he's a nerdy tech guy like I am. If I do any Stormgate content, I'm pro- okay. So when he did StarCraft II, esports wasn't a thing. A big part of the goal was to make esports a thing. It's not that I dislike StarCraft II. It's just that my heart's with Brood War. I expect that to be the case. And I think Stormgate has an impossible situation where they are trying to please the RTS com- multiple RTS communities uh, with extremely inflated expectations. And I just don't see that happening. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah. What I will say instead is uh, if I if I produce <laughs> Stormgate content this time, the explicit draw is going to be to try to steal people back to Brood War. So it's kind of like do this to get exposure to Brood War again, maybe draw people to that. Uh, that will be my main goal because I don't think I have interest in being like a long term. I don't know. Maybe it'll just be such an amazing game that I, I'm like, no, I'll do both or drop or whatever. But that's counting... What is it? Uh, counting the chickens before they've hatched sort of aspect. And again, I've got these other things that I'm trying to focus on in the background. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it and are okay listening to the rant and all that aspect. Quick one this time, absolutely continues. Um, whether you support BSL, I'll leave up to you. I do recommend still applying pressure to esports fund as far as where they're going. All the ethics of it and a lot of the aspects of it, I think are challenging both directions, but I think worthwhile to keep the community in like a, honestly, it was very demotivating the last couple of days uh, trying to do stuff in the wake of all of this. And I, that's another reason I'm trying to readjust is as fun as running tournaments are and as fun as it is, have it's like important as it is to me to have an impact on something. Um, there's just a massive amount of stress that comes with a lot of this stuff in the meantime that seems to generate in the brood war community more than maybe potentially other communities. So, uh, I don't know. That's the other thing I'm considering and trying to rebalance. I don't want to like leave, but at the same time draw back to where I'm not quite so debilitated, not debilitated. It's the wrong word where like stuff like this isn't quite so frustrating for me. It doesn't create quite the level of anger and stress that it does. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. You are okay with this rant, I should say. It's a short one. Thanks for listening.